If the small gold is on the surface, and the big gold is at the bottom, then what kind of gold do we get up in the sky? That's what we're gonna find out today, and I'm pretty excited about it. Logistically, mining gold where there is no ground, kind of challenging, but that's never stopped me before. I've got too much time on my hands. There's probably a proper way to do this, like actual stairs, but these are bigger. It's always fun finding the building limits of a game. We're really gonna put the physics to the test today. Starting here, going up. Actually, forget that. We're gonna start over here. That way, by the time I'm in the sky, I'm closer to the water. Water apparently is very important in a game called Hydranir. I'm already bored of placing ramps. Elevation has increased. Not even higher than the mountains yet, though. And everybody knows the best gold is above all the ground. Oh, that's lower than I thought. I mean, I guess that's pretty high up here. Probably higher than anyone's ever mined gold before. Max, can we get a taller game? Now to figure out how to actually mine gold up there. I can already tell this is going to be an incredibly annoying process. But I bet there's going to be a lot of cloudium up there. Alright, so I'm going to need one of these and one of these. And you can't place these until there's some other stuff around. Not to worry though, I've got an idea. I just need to place a little bit of dirt up here in the sky. I'm going to end up falling way more than I would like to. But this part is actually working surprisingly well. I think I could probably at least place a drill over top of that for now. The game already loves it. The other problem with building up here is I have to store my tools here. Every time I drop something, it goes a long ways down. So now, will it let me put it will? Connecting the pipes is going to be a whole different problem. But I'm actually really pleased with myself that I've managed to put a drill 100 feet up in the air. But that dirt up there is just a placeholder for now because this is going to feed it. I keep forgetting I have these boxes here. These will actually make a nice platform. And that went into place fairly easily. Getting a crystal in there is going to be a bit of a challenge, but this is all coming together pretty nicely so far. Now we just clear out some of the dirt, and that's going to give it a little bit of room to work by itself. Now I just need a few more boxes. And I finally have a platform to store tools on. But now I can get down and put the crystal in here. At least I think I can. I'm also really glad I've got a million power crystals currently on this ground. I might actually put a few boxes here to catch the crystal every time it drops because I feel like I'm going to be chasing it around a lot. And there it goes over the edge. Right, I'm going to add a few boxes and maybe start hammering stuff down. Because as much as I enjoy doing things the hard way, sometimes I actually just need to get stuff done. And I have enough stuff both above and below that I'm going to buy my very own special construction hammer for above ground. Now my favorite part of any game, hitting stuff with a hammer. I think I found a solution to my crystal problem. And that's with some dirt. A shovel and some dirt will fix almost any of life's problems with the right application of it. And there we go. That was alarmingly painful, but that part is done. We're so close to done. All I need to do is bring the pipes up, plus also do the processor. Do we think that's too close? Not sure if this is going to work, but I'm building a fortress in the sky, so what do I care? Clearly critical thinking skills are not my strong suit. I'm gonna need more coffee for this. This is a big coffee idea. At least I finally do have a use for all these boxes. And in the world of Hydranir, you can never have too many boxes. Just realized I might have made a minor mistake. Pretty sure the dirt that guy's gonna fire out is gonna be too big for this guy. But I think I've got another awkward solution. If you like awkward solutions, hit that subscribe button. I'm full of those. One at a time, I carry things from the very bottom of the game to the very top. For some reason, and this is really fun, if I walk straight and sprint, I deviate to the left. Or I have to run at an angle just to get up the ramp. Anyways, that's my solution. I'm just going to use a few grinders right away, and then I'm going to go straight into that guy. At least that's the plan. There's about a 40% chance of that actually working. This might be up there with some of my worst ideas ever. Definitely almost to that exciting part where I've got to make the pipes reach that thing. And I think we're about there. Let's try plumbing this disaster. At least I have a whole bunch of crap already on this ground. If I had to go back and forth to the shop, I'd probably be giving up right now. So much running. Bottom to top. Look at that though. That's going to be the easiest gauge in the world to read. That was purely intentional. And I'm pretty sure I've got everything wired to about this point now. Now I just need to add some power boosters and then connect it down to the water. Which definitely sounds easy when I simply say it, but actually getting everything up there, not a lot of fun. But pretty soon, we will literally be making it rain gold, so I'm pretty excited about that. Putting four crystals into these things in the sky are what nightmares are made out of. Somehow I managed to get all the crystals into there, and now we just gotta connect the pipes and press the on button. And I think I might have actually lined that up pretty good. And I'm probably long overdue to start utilizing the pallets. I don't really know how to fill this gap, so I'm gonna try and jump connect things, and that's not gonna work either. But I suppose I do have all these boxes for a reason. 
this square enabler is of my stupidity. I was really hoping to have to avoid going to the store to buy more crap, but it looks like I'm going to have to do that. But that's not the end of the world. The game is behaving itself so far, and I've only had to buy a few things so far. Out of everything I can do in this game, the thing I hate the most is repeatedly buying stuff in this store. Only one more pipe length to go, and all it took was a mountain of boxes. The game is starting to get a little bit jittery. And I'm gonna need one more box just to reach. But there we go, I think it's good to fire up and we'll just kind of see what actually happens. Pretty sure everything's in place or close enough for me. The drill appears to be on and mining dirt, so I guess it did get fed already. Yep, it sure did. I was kind of worried that thing wasn't gonna produce dirt way up here. There we go, it works! Not really sure what it's producing at this point, but just little gold. But that's good dirt from the bottom. Maybe the physical elevation of the drills does matter. I thought this guy might have bigger gold, but we'll give it a chance. I'm pretty impressed I did get this working first try though. Still just little stuff spitting out the end. Do I need better dirt? I have at the very least proved you can mine gold in the sky. Our water pressure is full, though let's bring in a scoop of the dirt from the very bottom to see what it spits out. This dirt should have as big a gold as you could possibly find. Making a long journey up to the top. And it's working its way down to the next bit of dirt. Once that disappears, well, maybe the store's in there anyway. There you go, hungry drill. And everything is starting to break as it starts raining little itty bitty gold again. Hmm. To be perfectly fair, I did know this was a bad idea from the start, as most of mine are, but sometimes they reward me with big gold. This one doesn't seem to be rewarding me with big gold yet. But it is at least reliable and pretty efficient with uh, small gold. This is the size of gold I was looking for. One single chunk of these weighs approximately 511. Now one of the rainy types of gold weighs 0.4, so less than one tenth of the big gold from the other side. But that's probably why you shouldn't mine gold from the sky. But then again, that really shouldn't have to be explained to anyone. Gold comes from the ground, not up there, so this was just a solid idea through and through. But it's always fun to make it rain gold. There is one more thing I want to try. We're going to take some of the good dirt and place it around our dirt duplicator, hopefully yielding better results. And it's still raining the little kind of gold we don't want. It's an interesting idea, but not at all a moneymaker. 